As Taiwan recorded no new coronavirus cases for two consecutive days in a row and the third time this week, Health Minister Chen Shizong seemed cautiously optimistic on Friday. But he said the country would keep up its guard and continue to expand coronavirus testing. Taiwan's total number of cases remains at 395. Meanwhile, some are concerned at a COVID-19 safety index published by British analysts, which placed Taiwan just number seven in the world behind countries like China, Israel and South Korea. Chen says that's because the researchers were really comparing how countries handle an explosion of cases. Taiwan couldn't score highly because it never had such an explosion. The mood is palpably lighter at the Central Epidemic Command Center after two consecutive days with no new cases. Even the health minister allowed himself a few chuckles. <laughs> but judging by the U.S. CDC's standards, Taiwan needs to see numbers drop for two weeks for the epidemic to be considered abating. Looking at the big picture, Right now, the risk of community infection is quite low. But as soon as we relax a bit, if there's an outbreak, the crisis will be more severe. So I'm asking everyone, as I do every time I talk to you, to please bear this ordeal a while longer. So far, Taiwan has seen 10 community infections with no known source. With the asymptomatic incubation period of COVID-19 posing a big risk, Chen plans to continue upscaling testing. We will continue expanding the range of symptoms that will get you a COVID-19 test. So eventually we'll test you even if you just have very mild symptoms. Three times this week, Taiwan saw no new cases, an astonishing achievement in light of the global crisis. That left some scratching their heads at a recent safety ranking published by a British think tank, which ranked Taiwan just number seven in the world for COVID-19 safety. China was ranked number five. When you first look at a ranking like that, you might do a double take. Because all the nations ranked before us have figures much, much higher than we do in terms of numbers of cases, the infection rate compared to population size, and crude mortality rate. So what was the think tank basing its ratings on? Basically, this index is just looking at the epidemic response measures, isolation strategies, surveillance strategies, and the preparation of medical capacity. It's kind of looking at the government's efficiency in responding in a crisis. Now, the fact is that Taiwan is not facing the crisis that those other countries are. Taiwan cut off the crisis before it occurred. The ranking is really looking at how countries handle the epidemic once it's blown up, in many cases by disrupting the daily life of billions of people. Taiwan's success in preventing an explosion didn't score highly, but few in Taiwan are really complaining.